Muslim don't date, brother. Muslim dating is haram. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This message for brother Sneeko. May Allah. <laughs> dating in Islam is haram. Sleeping with the wives of others is okay. Haram, brother. Haram. Uh, cheater, liar, fabricator, not a trustworthy, beard. And the same time, you don't find one single Muslim speaking about what Uthman did. Why? Why, why they are not talking about it? Hmm? Why Muslims are not talking about it? What the problem? Do you remember when there was a priest, I forgot his name, he was accused of rape and after he died, you know, and they say that the accusation is true, but I don't know, I mean, after he died, you are, you go after him, what about you accusing him when he's alive? When he's dead, there's no way to defend himself. But when this has happened, Irvis come back in from the Muslim terrorist groups, he made a video about it. Where are you? as long you are against anyone who is a cheater, a liar. You know, for us as a Christians, we know that this is such an act is absolutely, uh, you know, evil act. And the person he do it, he go to, uh, to, uh, to hell. Same time, the Lord, he, or, you know, he warned us about false teachers who come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves, like your prophet. So for us, when a person, he do that, he is a priest, he is a bishop, he is shaming himself. But for you, can you shame this man for what he did? No, because you're a prophet. He did exactly the same. If you condemn this man for going after a married woman, then you have to condemn your prophet for what he did. Correct? For me, I cannot be called a Christian. All of us, we commit sin. Nobody can say that we are angels coming from the sky. Every man in this earth, he is, you know, he got tempted, he commits sin, he fight or don't fight, it is dependent on the person. But I cannot claim that when I commit sin, I'm following my Lord. But you, Muhammadan, when you do fornicate with the wife of somebody else, you are following the sunnah step by step of your prophet. He took his own son, wife, not the neighbor. He flirted with her when she was in the house of the husband. And this is all written in your books. This is not a book written by the Jews or the Hindus or the Christian prince. This is your books. So is that why Muslims don't dare to shame him? Anyway, so obviously, you know, things is messed up in this community. But nothing new for us. You know, we are from the Middle East. We knew how they live. We knew how they act. Uh, it doesn't say that, CP, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, when you show them a hadith, like how they refute the Christian prince, Christian prince, this hadith reported by Hisham. Hisham, he reported from his father, Abdul. Abdul reported from his father, Ahmad. Ahmad reported from Muhammad. Muhammad reported from Ali. Ali reported from Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman reported from uh, Makbul. And the Makbul is a liar. So the hadith is not accepted. Obviously, this guy is so uh, so naive and stupid to the point he give someone his wife number. Like he don't say to him, let us go meet me and you and her, you know, and you talk to her. Uh, um, no, I will give you her number. Well, I don't want to keep you longer here, but uh, how many of you will download the video and show Everybody, how a trustworthy Uthman is, and how this is not about Uthman, by the way. I assure you, all of them are the same. You see, you can ask Muslims. When I was in the Middle East, when I go to a Muslim, like let's say, in, with me in school, like I'm high school, so I go to his house, 
he welcomed me his mother she sat with us his sisters and the Muslims when they uh, inside the house they dress like really open they never hide from me I sit with them you know uh, this guy was a very nice person his family were not very nice people I never look at his sisters in any wrong way the second another kid come from the school from the same class and he is a Muslim all the female they run away and they close all doors and when they bring the tea of the coffee the door is closed they knock the door and they leave the coffee tray behind the door so the first thing I notice how come when I am there his sisters and his mother they sit with me even I eat with them how come when a Muslim come everybody hide everybody even the little girl who is not even seven years old they hide her and this is not only one with one person and then I learned they do that only with the Christians because other person who is a Christian like me he come with me to their house they don't hide to so I found out that this is only about Muslims Muslims don't let Muslims see their women because Islam teach Muslim to have a very low ethic when a Muslim family they come to visit my parents the wife she take her scarf my dad is sitting there she's not covering her hair she take off her coat she's wearing normal dress that will never happen in a house of a Muslim man women they sit with women alone alone and men they sit alone when they go to visit the Christians the women she is dressing nice she have a makeup she have her hair you know uh, uh, style she have uh, uh, some sometime even shorter shorter skirt and the husband is with her you know her husband is coming to visit with her they don't trust Muslims and they love in case you do not know they love to associate with Middle Eastern Christians this is the fact and this is the truth and then this poor man he go to Uthman and he tell him you know can you talk to this you know to my wife to fix my marriage and then what Uthman he do I mean listen even if you like the women let us say the women is uh, attractive she is pretty but where is your shame I mean the guy he is your friend and he asked you to do something at least wait until they get divorced and there's no hope and that's it and he forgot about her and then later you say you know what uh, you know things work we you know we met we talk uh, you, you know you don't want her no more she don't want you no more and that's it it's over but she's married so obviously there's a plan to take the wife from her husband anyway so uh, I hope our topic today I don't like to talk about those topics but I found it interesting because it's you know it is very uh, good way to explore the Islamic corrupt society and here when you see this video here Lili Dawa talking about divorce and marriage and why Muslim women and Muslim men they have they are suffering from pandemic of divorce shouldn't the Muslims ask themselves first of all who made divorce so easy in Islam? So easy, text message. And you are talking pandemic? Text message. He don't even need to do anything. He don't need to go to court. He just sent text message. He can go out in the street. His wife, she is cooking in the kitchen. You know, he sent her a text message, say to her, you are divorced. So if you want to fight the problem of divorce, first of all, do you have even marriage? If you have marriage, you will, like you see, there's four women there. All of them, 
they can be in bed with one of those guys. What is the marriage? You know what marriage mean? You, you merge together. In Christianity, you become one. You don't have marriage, you have a sexual contract. So, if the Islamic religion is successful to make a family, then we will not see such a title 